All right, y'all, we're going to get to our last question of the night. Make sure that you send your questions in to 202-599-6992 if you want them to be brought up. All right, what do we got? Hi, Day. I love your podcast and the guests you have. Thank you. Shout out to all my guests. I appreciate each and every person that's been on my show. My boyfriend is starting to lose his hair and it's noticeable, which is completely natural. And I tell him he would look very attractive bald. I can tell he's insecure about it, and I don't want him holding on for dear life. Since you're confident being bald, how can I help him feel confident in it also? Thanks. 704. Shout out to Charlotte, first and foremost. Queen City. Um, All right. <clears throat> so through my bald journey, which started at 23 years old, uh, I could have went another year, so I thought. But I turned 23, and I was like, Jordan, year, Jordan, look. I went bald, shaved my head off, and I kept my hat on for a whole year before fully embracing it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the two most important parts to the bald head journey. First and foremost is the truth. Honesty. Not a whole bunch of yes men and a yes woman telling them that it looks good when it doesn't. So don't tell them, oh, it looks good, babe. You can, you know, pull it off for another year. Or, you know, I had that. I had people that tell me that it didn't look that bad. I had people telling me I could go another year being bald. I heard it all, right? It was a whole bunch of yes men around me until I got, until I got hit with that one truthful, honest moment. And I appreciate it so much because what that does is that really settles you. It, it brings you back to realization like, okay, all right. Right. Because you're hearing all this. Yes, man, gassing you up like a balloon. And then you get that one person hit you with the truth, level you down. And that's what you need. My story was uh, shout out to Coach Sewell, Bowie State University football. He's now with Morgan State University, defense coordinator, best defense coordinator I've ever played with. But um, at Bowie State, this is like 20, what, 16, 17. I don't know. I'm 22 years old at the time. And I'm outside of his office waiting for him because we had like a meeting or something. So I'm outside of his office and I had like the George Jefferson thing going on. Right. But I tried to cover it up and hide it and, you know, try to brush it over. And you can still see what's there kind of, but I tried to hide it. So I'm outside of his office and my head is down. Like I have my head down because, you know, student athlete, you know, take your cat naps. So my head is down outside of his office and he walks up on me um, to, you know, to his office and he goes, hey, man, let it go. Let it go. And I'm not going to lie, right then and there, it hurt. And I thought about it like the whole rest of the day. It did hurt, but it was like ripping the Band-Aid off. It was quick, effective pain because it brought me back to realization like, okay, maybe I do need to let it go. He kept it a buck with me, right? That's all he said. I, I already knew what he was talking about. A third, That was a thorough individual that kept it honest with me, kept it 100 with me. And I needed that to bring me back to realization. So two weeks later, I turned 23 years old. I sat in a barber chair, told him, Jordan here, Jordan, look, give me that number zero against the grain. And I shaved my head right then and there. But that was thanks to Coach Sewell keeping it a buck. Because I would have, I thought I could have won another year. I'm like, I got another year, right? You see that. People who should be looking crazy and they think they can go another year. No. So first and foremost, you got to be 100 with your boyfriend. You got to tell him, listen, babe, it's it's time, Right? All right. Now, the second part of this is compliments from a bald man, because even though I shaved my head, I still went a whole year with the hat on. But what helped me, you know, fully embrace it was at moments when I didn't have my hat on, the compliments I would receive from grown ass women, because I had my beard, not quite as much as I have now, but I had enough beard. I've always been in shape. I've always, you know, worked out and whatnot. So when I would have it off and I would be like, I worked at Foot Locker. So like the, the moms, like the, that's when I got introduced to the 30 and over crowd. When like the, just a grown ass woman would come in and start just, it was a different vibe. I'm like, yo, I'm like catching a different vibe. I, I pushed them 25 and belows down, you know what I'm saying? To the side and them, you know, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 year olds. I'm like, yo, this is a whole nother vibe that I'm getting from them. And then they started hitting me with handsome. Once you're bald and you, start getting those handsome compliments from grown ass women. I mean, that gives you the glow like Bruce Leroy. I mean, it's just, it's just, you're on such a cloud nine high once you start getting those handsome compliments. So I would say compliments. So make sure that you compliment him. Now he might say that, listen, you're my girl. Of course you're going to compliment me. I mean, really, if you want to get some of your homegirls that he don't know to, you know what I'm saying? Meet y'all wherever y'all going and just say, no disrespect, but your man is so handsome. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or set up like a, you know, where y'all at the store say, hey girl, pull up. If you want to go there, right? If you want to go there, but the honesty, first and foremost, he's going to need that. And then, you know, the compliments that really will, you know, build up his confidence as well from the compliments. So those are the two most important, but 
really what's really most important is he has to be willing to take the hat off. Like I said, when he first shaves it, he's going to wear hats. We all do. Like I said, I wore my hat for a whole year. But retrospect, a year ain't bad. I'm 29 years old. I went bald at 23. I have some friends I went to high school with that went bald the exact same time I did. To this day, I still have not seen them without a hat. Don't do the DJ Clue. Don't have the DJ Clue effect. The DJ Clue effect. DJ Clue hasn't taken his hat off since 1997. If you don't believe me, pull up a picture of DJ Clue without a hat after the year 2000. It's impossible. So don't have the DJ Clue effect, right? He, he can't do that. He has to be willing to take off the hat and fully embrace it first and foremost. So, you know, be honest with him and then like just really push him to really take the hat off and just rock it in public. Some people will keep a do-rag on, a hat on for years, right? You can't do that. I'll give you a year tops. I think a year top is, is acceptable, but even still a couple months and, and snatch it off. You know what I mean? And, and you know, just once he gets that confidence up, it's a wrap. The number one trait you can have with a woman is confidence, I think, because it, it spills out of our pores. Like women can smell it, feel it like confidence is energy. And that's the number one thing that kids keep that gets women going, because when you're a confident man, you're a man's man and a man's man is a woman's man. And that's what, you know, they really want at the end of the day. So he just has to, you know, build that confidence up. And I think that the compliments is the best way to go about doing that. Um, so I hope that's good for you. I hope that's good for anyone else tuning in that's bald, going bald, new to the bald world, whatever may have you. Work out. Work out. You know, get a nice body to go with it. If you have a beard, rock your beard. But most importantly, just be confident in it, man. Seriously. Like, it, you'll do way better being a confident, bald person than being a non-confident, insecure man who has the George Jefferson and is trying to hold on to dear life. Rock the baldy. Shoot, because if you can't... Listen, man, what is in. It's in. The bald head with the beard is in, especially for millennials, because most of us are bald with beards or, you know, holding on for dear life. So women love it, man. Again, I've... My, my like, yo, the amount of women I've received since going, since going bald is crazy compared to when I had hair, yo. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but... Um, yeah, so be honest with your man, tell him that he needs to shave that shit, flood him with compliments, take him somewhere to where he can receive compliments from other women as well, grown women, preferably. Uh, and then, you know, just, you know, make sure that he has the confidence to rock without the hat in general. And that's my suggestion. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to send them in. Uh, you can text them to 202-599-6992 or drop a comment in the comment section of this video if you want me to pull up a question to be brought up on either IG Live or YouTube Live. YouTube Live is going to be every Friday night, 9 p.m. IG every Monday night, 9 p.m. So Monday and Friday, we're going live, day at night live. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Peace.